He'll fight for freedom wherever there's trouble. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe. Let's get those turkeys. We're gonna get Cobra this time. Our combat jets are on the way. Hey, check my missiles. They're a okay Great, I'm going down for a closer look. Way to go, Joe! G.I. Joe Sky Striker comes with Ace and two parachutes. Other figures sold separately from Hasbro. of you, you've made it back for an entire fourth episode of G.I. Joe, or you're probably one of the people just dying for me to get back to Transformers. We are so close, but I'm having a good time doing this. So please, if you're new here, like, share, and subscribe, and if you've been here before and you haven't subscribed yet, I would greatly appreciate it if you would do so. So no more delays, let's get into it. This is G.I. Joe the Mass Device, Episode 4. Somehow, the wolf knew all of this. Why not? Out of here! In her animation-only long-haired appearance, CoverGirl manages to get the Cobra trap safely away from the base. She also nearly runs two armed soldiers over in the process, and suffers no consequences. Look out! Now for more exposition. Without the third element, we are no match for Cobra. The catalytic ingredient we need is to be found where the so-called Ring of Fire emerges from the continent of South America. It is a center of extraordinary volcanic activity. More than 100,000 years ago, a gigantic meteorite survived entry into the Earth's atmosphere, plummeted into the crater known as the Devil's Cauldron. That meteorite is the last source of the pure metallic compound, which is our third missing element. I'd do anything if I didn't have to be the one to deliver this message, but the president and the Joint Chiefs have just ordered me to assemble the entire G.I. Joe force and surrender as directed by Cobra. No way! You're putting this on, right, Stalk? You out of your gourd! Come off it, Stalker! What are we, French now? Bonjour! You cheese-eating surrender monkeys! It's no mistake. As soon as our entire outfit and its support and supply networks have been repositioned as demanded, I will formally turn it all over to the Cobra Commander. We've won, don't you see? Won! Don't try to talk me out of it. It's not my decision. They don't know we're eavesdropping on their super-secret transmission, so it must be the truth! Victory, Destro! How does Cobra Commander eat with that mask on? Where are you going? I've arranged a banquet! We still lack the third element to power our mass device. At this delicate juncture, I shall take no chance of anything going wrong. I will lead the search for that final ingredient myself. Paranoid fool. We've won, I tell you! We must stop these evil men, Ramar. If not, they will enslave others as they have our people. Give me but one opportunity. One unguarded moment. And I will repay the swine. Once again, how are these two still slaves? And where are they from again anyways? You, slave, come here and amuse me. Oh, this can go so many ways. It's now my duty to ask all the G.I. Joe team members to report to the... Will you get out of the picture, gun home? Uh, sorry, Stock. They're kind of cute, you know? Better than an electric train set. And it's all available at your local Toys R Us. God, I miss that place. 
Breaker discovered Cobra was intercepting our ultra-secret transmission, and you gave them the show we wanted them to see. Well, let's hope it buys us enough time to get that third element. Okay, listen up. Operation Big Lift is about to get underway. Yo, Joe! Get down too close to that lava, and it's Barbecue City. Hey! Wow, far out! What'd you see? What do you think I see for Pete's sake? What are we looking for? If I say, hey, wow, far out, I must have found it, right? Right. It's the meteorite. That's the spicy meatball. We're there. This is it. Man, look at that baby. That's the payoff. Fantastic. I want a line, too. The numbers move. We're going to lift that sucker. Check your cables and electromagnets and fasten your seatbelts. Yeah! -ha! This is Wilder and the Bronco with the cactus saddle. <laughs> My old daddy taught me how to dip a net to catch a mess of blue crab. This is about the same, except this old crab weighs about ten tons. <laughs> Wild Bill listens to country and western. This is all we got, babe. If it don't work, we're cooked. And I'm talking cooked. Yo, go, 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 go. The Cobra forces arrive to piss on the Joe's victory parade. Cobra! G.I. Joe will return after these messages. G.I. Joe Fighter Pilot. Codename, Ace. File name, Arm Brewster, Brad J. Primary military specialty, fixed wing pilot, single and multiple engine. Secondary military specialty, intelligence operations. Birthplace, Providence, Rhode Island. Grade 03, Captain, United States Air Force. Ace would rather fly than do anything else. During high school, he worked after school and weekends to pay for flying lessons. Spent one year flying pipelines in Alaska and two years stunt flying for the movies. Enlisted United States Air Force at age 22. Duty most previous to G.I. Joe assignment, Senior Instructor, United States Air Force, Fighter Weapons Squadron. The Aggressors, Pilot Combat Training School, Qualified Expert, F-5E, F-15, F-16, XP-14F. Ace has one major character flaw, Cutthroat Poker. A predilection for gambling would ordinarily disqualify an applicant for the G.I. Joe team, but in Arm Brewster's case, you could hardly call it gambling, since he never loses. That's why they call him Ace. G.I. Joe Vamp Driver. Codename, Clutch. File name, Steinberg, Lance J. Primary military specialty, Transportation. Secondary military specialty, Infantry. Birthplace, Ashbury Park, New Jersey. Grade, E4. Clutch was a mechanic at Manny's Mean Machines and was heavily involved in racing street machines prior to enlistment. Graduated Advanced Infantry Training, Covert Ops School, Executive Bodyguard School, Ranger School, Qualified Expert, M14, M16, M1911A1, M3A1, M79, M60. He greases his hair with motor oil, chews on the same toothpick for months. Clutch still calls women chicks. G.I. Joe Tank Commander, Codename Ralph Steeler Pulaski, File Name Pulaski. Ralph W. Primary military specialty, armor. Secondary military specialty, artillery. Transportation. Birthplace, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, grade 01. Ralph Steeler Pulaski comes from a blue collar middle class background. He put himself through college on an ROTC scholarship and by working as a heavy equipment operator. He entered armor school at Fort Knox, graduated at the top of his class one of the first to join the G.I. Joe team. He has taken part in countless operations against the Cobra organization. He drives one of the G.I. Joe team's armadillo tanks, pushing the vehicle to its limit as he tears his way through an onslaught of Cobra tanks with turbojet engines firing hot and cannons blazing. Now back to G.I. Joe. Look out! It's gonna hit! Let's 
hear it for me, me? We have only one target, and that is the volcano itself. Concentrate your fire at this level, just below the surface of the lava in the crater. When we break through, the lava spill will trigger an eruption. An eruption which will pop the meteorite into the sky like a champagne cork. Then we'll neck it before G.I. Joe realizes they've lost. <laughs> As Destro makes colorful descriptions of impossible events, Stalker continues to bullshit the Cobra Commander. I demand your surrender at once or I shall destroy New York! Our total force hasn't assembled yet. You surely don't want a partial surrender. Silence! How long to complete the process? An hour and a half? Two hours at the most, if we're lucky. You will not be lucky, fool! You will be vanquished! That is all! Being a petty jackass, Cobra Commander makes a foolhardy strike on New York City. It cost us our third element, but it worked! <laughs> Selena thwarts Cobra Commander's plans with water, apparently. It's headed right for us! This is the end! It's curtains! Oh no! The end of the world! Oh. I won't live to see the next four Rocky movies! Yeah, America, bitches. You'll pay for this, slave. You'll pay dearly. Spoiler alert, she doesn't. He's undercutting the lava in the crater. When that crater wall breaks, we could have us one humongous blow up. It'll send that old meteorite pushing out faster than a field mouse and a tomcat picnic. If that meteorite gets into free fall, we're in big trouble. Eye in the sky, go in high. Gunko Joe is going low. Yo, Joe! These people enjoy their metaphors and rhymes. Defying the laws of science and aviation, a cartoonish action sequence unfolds. Dude, Gunko! Cobra's got a catcher mitt coming in at 15,000 feet! Volcanoes work like this. <laughs> perfect, perfect. It's a high fly ball to deep center field. Let's try a shoestring catch. Now we have it. Steady, steady. How and when they tethered that together is irrelevant. This is just plain silly. Joe! Having even bigger sky dick energy, Destro makes off with the meteor. <laughs> Being a daring, highly trained special mission force, the Joes tell defeat to hold their beer. Prepare to repel boarding party! G.I. Joe will return after these messages. G.I. Joe Bazooka Soldier. Codename, Zap. File name, Melendez. Raphael, J. Primary military specialty, engineer. Secondary military specialty, infantry artillery. Birthplace, New York City. Grade, E4. Zap is the team specialist in armor piercing and anti-tank weapons, but also functions as a demolitions man. Specialized Education, Engineer School, Ordnance School, Advanced Infantry Training, Qualified Expert, M14, M16, M1911A1, M79, Grenade Launcher, M72, Law Rocket, XM71A, Tow Missile, XM47, Dragon Missile. Zap is the fun-loving type. He's cool under fire. The stuff he works on can blow up at any time. G.I. Joe Mortar Soldier, codename Short Fuse, 
File name, Friedstadt, Eric W. Primary military specialty, artillery. Secondary military specialty, infantry engineer. Birthplace, Chicago, Illinois. Grade, E4. Short Fuse comes from a military family. Father and grandfather both career top sergeants. Enjoys abstract mathematics and can plot artillery azimuths and triangulations in its head. Specialized education, artillery school, engineer school, advanced infantry training, qualified expert, M14, M16, M1911A1, M79 grenade launcher, M260MM light mortar, M1 81 millimeter medium mortar. Short Fuse is logical and sensitive, has a tendency to blow his stack, hence the nickname. G.I. Joe Machine Gunner, codename, Rock and Roll, file name, McConnell, Craig S. Primary military specialty, infantry. Secondary military specialty, physical training instructor. Birthplace, Malibu, California. Grade, E5. Rock and Roll was a surfer in Malibu prior to enlistment. He was also a weightlifter and played bass guitar in local rock bands. Is familiar with all NATO and Warsaw packed light and heavy machine guns. Graduated advanced infantry training, top of class. Specialized education, covert op school. Rock and Roll is cunning, but naive. Forceful, but shy. Possesses a strong sense of loyalty to his teammates and is sincerely concerned about their well-being. A man of honor and integrity who can be counted on to hold the line. Now, back to G.I. Joe. With lots of punching, shooting, and nobody dying due to children's syndicated programming, the Joes board the Cobra vessel and get into some really heavy shit. Is this even regulation? And if I dare ask, what is the wolf gonna actually do? Don't let him get away! Yo, Joe! Scarlet pursues Destro as he escapes. Just like eating walnuts at Christmas. The mopping up's complete, except for Destro. Scarlet was on his tail. Yeah, that was 25 minutes ago. Let's go see how that turned out. They found me. Instead of just utilizing his head start to escape, Destro takes Scarlet prisoner for reasons. <laughs> Was Scarlet's thermal arrow. No further. If you shoot, you'll hit your friend. Step into the clear, Destro, if you've got the guts. <laughs> I have no time for childish games. I... Or he could have just left before they all got there. So he leaves. We'll break your spirit soon enough, my dear Scarlet. Seeing you a groveling slave will provide me with great pleasure. <laughs> you dirty, dirty bastard. Meatball like you isn't my style, Destro. In her effort to cancel Destro, Scarlet puts her own life at risk. You little fool! You fuse the controls! We're both finished! Oh, no! Is it just me, 
Or did Scarlet kind of bring this situation on herself? I gotta say, for one of the deadliest people in the world, she was kind of dumb in this one scenario. But I know what you're thinking, she's a hot redhead and we're gonna give her a pass. And I'm gonna agree with you on that. So, that being said, I'll be back in just a few short days with the final episode of this mini-series. But before then, I've included in this playlist another voice actor video. This one pertains to Frank Welker the legend himself. Frank Welker goes all the way back to Scooby-Doo. He was the voice of Freddie Jones and the original Scooby-Doo himself. He's also Megatron in Transformers as well as many others. In this run of G.I. Joe alone, he is the voice of Wild Bill, the helicopter pilot, G.I. Joe Short Fuse, and he's also the voice of Timber the Wolf. So I hope you'll check that out. And in the meantime, I hope you'll like, share, and subscribe. And with that, I'll be seeing you back here in just a few short days for G.I. Joe, A Stake in the Serpent's Heart. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you then. In our next episode, Scarlet becomes a slave to Cobra, and she and Selina lead a slave rebellion, while Dr. Vandermeer completes the mass device, and the Joe team locks this deadly combat with Cobra and Destro. Your turn, Snake Eyes! This is all Destro's fault, but my genius shall save us. All in a stake in the serpent's heart, the final exciting episode of G.I. Joe.